Hey guys, so I feel like I should do uh, some tips and tricks in regards to doing Veil Poi, but outside in the uh, natural climbing conditions. Whether it be windy, raining, or not, Veil Poi is between an intermediate and advanced uh, level when you are doing uh, Poi stuff, and that is because when you are doing Veil Poi, you've got all this Veil to uh, be concerned about. The Poi is just a basic tennis ball. It has its own little swivels. I've got a little keychain part up here. I've got the swivel down here, and then I've got another swivel actually on near the uh, bail port or your ball. So as you guys can see, there's a bit of wind in today. Now, usually, I would highly suggest someone that is starting to do bail port and have to do it outside that you find an area where you can have a good wind block, such as a shed or on the side of a building, something along those lines. When I am doing bail port, I always take note to which direction the wind is blowing in. The reason for that is it's easier to go with the wind rather than against the wind because if you do go uh, against the wind when it is a little bit more you have the uh, situation where the bale isn't actually flicking out nicely and it starts coming onto you and it will uh, really put you at a more higher chance of uh, tangling yourself up. Another thing to take notice is when you are doing bale poi uh, and you are in conditions like this and you're using a camera such as myself which is an iPod or an iPhone um, you've got to make sure that you're in an area where it's not going to be too sunny. Um, so you usually don't have the sun against you because you do come quite blurred, especially if you're someone that's very white and pale, such as my Another thing when it comes to weather conditions, if it's wet and raining or the grass has some dew on it, I highly suggest not trying to do any veil poi. It will dampen the actual veil and the veil will become quite heavy in itself. If the winds are quite strong, I do also highly suggest people to not practice veils. You will either wreck the veil poi or you will also get yourself tangled up in a lot of, um, in, a, in a sticky situation pretty much. If it is a windy day, such as it is today, um, your veil will also knock up in a, in a different sense. You'll actually tangle up like this and you won't get that nice flare to it. You can detangle them um, if you do chop and change quite a lot, but if you're going at a faster speed, that's not going to happen as good as possible. If you're on stage or doing things like that, just give them a bit of a quick shake, a bit of a break and untangle them. You don't need to go, okay, I've got to stop everything and try and untangle everything because just bobbing it up and down loosens the fabric, but it does depend on the material you are using. So I hope this has been helpful for some people out there um, that may be beginning in doing some bail poi. Um, it is, again, something you need to practice quite a lot. So if you are interested in seeing me doing a little bit more in regards to how I do my moves and things like that, um, subscribe, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Let me know what you think about this, whether you approve of uh, doing things in such weather conditions and not. I don't know. I'm going to let you guys talk about that in the comment section. Um, and hopefully I will be able to do another video talking about uh, how I do different tips and tricks when it comes to doing bell poi. But for now, thank you guys for watching and taking the time to listen to me ramble on about different things doing. And remember to subscribe for some more awesome stuff and check out my other videos and see the progress that I have made since I did first start doing bell poi to now. Bye!